you've been to Eustis lately, you may have noticed dozens of banners lining the streetlights. Each banner features a photograph of Lake County community members who sacrificed their lives while serving our country, also active duty members. It's called the Eustis Hometown Heroes Banner Program, and News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona tells us how the program got started and shows us some of those brave men and women being honored. These are literally the people who walk these streets in Lake County who have uh, grown up here or live here now, and we want to honor their contribution. Timothy Toden is leading the Eustis Hometown Heroes Banner Program in Lake County. The pictures span uh, people who fought in World War I uh, and World War II all the way up to current day active military. He proposed the idea to honor all American heroes who had or have a connection to Lake County. What is really striking to me is that uh, from a simple idea, so many people got on board and said uh, we should do this. And not just the city and Vet Fest, but all of the people who sponsor the banners. A total of 48 banners are being placed all around downtown Eustis. Each was sold for $200, and a portion of the fee was donated to the upcoming Vet Fest, taking place in downtown Eustis. I think this is going to be the first of several years uh, of festivals. Uh, I think it's going to expand throughout uh, greater Lake County. Chairman Tony Rufrano of VetFest was in the Navy for four years. Because when we came back from Vietnam, uh, we didn't get the same welcome that, uh, that folks are getting now. And, and it, was all, it was important to us to make sure that the returning veterans uh, from the 9-11 era uh, received the respect and dignity that they deserve. The banners also help teach younger generations about history. And some of the photos are from the 40s and some are from last week. And so to have those people honored, I think it makes kids who walk the streets sort of wonder what the story is. Some of the stories of the war that he had told us and everything were just amazing. My grandfather was a very kind and loving, great at storytelling. And one of his favorite stories was um, laying in the snow waiting for someone to come get him. Penny Janice is paying tribute with a banner to her grandfather, Private First Class Clarence W. McCoslin. He was injured during the Battle of the Bulge in World War II. Within six months, he was shot in the hip. She also honors him by showcasing a display of his medals inside her store. This is his purple heart and his bronze star. And there's his dog tag. And this is the bullet and it was in his hip. For Penny, the Hometown Heroes Banner Program is another testament to the unity in her community of Eustis. What, what did that mean to you? Uh, proud and thankful that I live in a town that has people that care. The city tells me the banners will stay up throughout Veterans Day in November, then afterwards they will be returned to their owners who purchased them. In Eustis, I'm Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9.